For this lesson, go into your exercise folder and open up the image that begins with 788 and ends in underscore 4. We're just evolving ourselves right along here. In this lesson, I want to enhance her eyebrows. Okay, give them a little bit of brown. Why? Well, I don't know. I just want to. I want to add more color to this girl. So what we're going to do here is not about selection. It's about painting. So let's do this. Come over here and give me a photo filter adjustment. Okay, photo filter. Now in photo filter, we have warming filters and cooling filters, and we have colors too. I'm going to leave that at warming because warming is brown. And I'm going to crank up the density. Now don't worry about what's going on. But look at the eyebrows and decide if that's the kind of brown you would like there, knowing full well that if you don't, you can change it later. Now we can turn off luminosity, which makes it much more intense. We might worry about that later. Let's turn that back on for now. Let's go ahead and crank that up just a little bit more. Okay, let's close this just for a second. Come back over here, that's Photo Filter 2. Double click on the mask, and it will open up the mask options over here. Invert it. Now, when you invert the mask, basically what you're doing is you are, in our case, painting it with black, and you're saying don't apply the adjustment. We're going to paint the eyebrows back in. So come over and pick up your paintbrush tool. Actually, let's collapse that for now. Paintbrush tool right here. White as your color. Now, I've already changed this, but I want you to change the flow right here. The default's 100%. Change that to about 10%. Somewhere around, it doesn't have to be exact, but about 10%. What that allows me to do is paint over and over again on the mask, slowly adding layers of light and slowly bringing the adjustment back in where? On her eyebrows. So let's come down here and get right about there. Now my brush, let's make that, you know, maybe one or two bigger or smaller left and right brackets. Come over here and just begin painting on those areas. Now, Every time you go over them again, they're going to get a little bit more of that adjustment. And I can do the same thing over here. Don't forget that flow option because it can really help you control things when you're trying to just kind of put just a little bit of extra color somewhere. Now, anytime we want to see what that looks like, we can turn it off right here and turn it back on. See, it's very subtle. It's very subtle. But the good news is, is we can come here and double click right here and change anything we want to over here, or even if we don't like it, throw it away and start again. So enhancing the eyebrows or lightening up our cheekbones or just about anything we want can be started with an adjustment layer, inverting it, and then painting the adjustment very slowly back into it.